And now you say, let's take a very, very deep breath. Frankly, I think that's what the community is doing a lot. Of weeks, is trying to take a real deep breath and get our bearings back and get our footing back and move ahead. Say, this is Charlotte. Nothing has changed about Charlotte, and this didn't shape any part of what Charlotte. We're going to move on from this. I think it's a good thing that this hurts so bad. I think it's a good thing that it's shocked by it. We were taking this for granted. If we were acting as if this was the kind of way business is done, then I'd be worried about the community. I think the community response to this has been proof again of how much this community values integrity and truth and honesty in its local government. Uh, what's your highest Sir, priority it's been a while. Uh, when you become mayor? What's the biggest order of business? Uh, stability. Stability and again to ensure the confidence that people have and should have. There's no reason why it's not going to be a special election. What do you have to say to the people who are concerned about that? I respect that. I respect that fully. Three or four years ago after we had the last occasion where someone had to be appointed to office, I actually sat down with the statutes from the new legislature and looked at how many different ways there are for filling vacancies in office. And we didn't believe it. there are countless ways that the vacancies are filled in North Carolina. So I filed a piece of legislation to try to standardize WBT, it. What do you want to say again to reassure voters and reassure people to have some confidence? You're live right now on the air. Right. I, I, what I really want to say is don't ever think that this is about Charlotte. What happens in this incident or in any other incident, this is not about you. This is not about your community. You can get up tomorrow morning with the same confidence that Charlotte is well run, is well governed, and responsibly there, as you've always had. This should not change. Did you give him a deal not to run again for re-election? Well, I, I, I have said I don't have a long-term plan to do this. It was my point in my career. Uh, I think I've uh, sort of put my years in. If I could be useful over the next 18 months, that would be serious. You know, we're fighting the airport issue up in Raleigh right. as part of the legislature. Talk right. about how you'll approach this now that you're uh, mayor well, of the city. I, I, of course, did not agree with the action of the legislature. I do not agree with the action of the legislature. Some of you may know that I've been representing the city of Asheville in its fights with the legislature over similar issues. What I would hope is that maybe after a year, uh, maybe we can, uh, again, back away from that and we can have some dialogue with our legislators and get them to understand why this is not good for North Carolina. Are you